Here is the answers of the questions which I have given in the previous class. Check whether your answer is correct. Good morning students. Welcome back to ICT class. This is our video number 36. From the previous class itself we have started a new chapter. Chapter 8 Database and Introduction. What are the activities we have discussed in our previous class? Yes, we have discussed about the introduction part in new chapter, chapter 8, database. Database and database management system was the first topic. And secondly, we have discussed about the first two activities in this lesson, which are building a database. For that, click on select database option. From that, select create new database option and give a proper name and save it in a folder. And second activity was building table of books in library. For that, select tables. From that create table in design view and then enter the details to that table. After that set one particular field as primary key. Then save it into that folder. So these are the previous knowledge. In today's class you will learn about DBMS software called LibreOffice base software. And also to learn about entering data in a database by applying different styles to that database. Then the learner will identify about the usage of forms technology in this database software called LibreOffice base. So in today's session we are moving to next two activities, activity 8.3 and 8.4 in your textbook. If you have your textbook, open your textbook and listen to the activities points, stepwise points while I am doing that activity. Okay. So let's start today's class with the activity 8.3. Okay. We are moving to next two activities in chapter 8, 8.3 and 8.4, data into tables and data entry. So here we have already created in the last class one database called library. So we are going to perform another two activities in the same saved file itself. So double click to open this library. Next activity, data into table. So we are going to enter the details. We have already created book underscore table one and every headings related to book book name author then price category cover image etc so we are going to enter the details in that table so one method is to directly enter the data in the table itself like here we are going to enter the details one method is directly entering the data in the table but it is not safe because when we are entering the details directly onto, the, uh, onto this table, there may be chance to occur errors. Okay, so it is not at all safe. The chances of errors in the database are comparatively high. So that we can make use of another mechanism which is forms, form technology. There is also the method of entering data using form technology. So it is described in page number 125 in your textbook. The points are very clear. So when I am doing this activity, read out your textbook. Data into table. So select this form from the database. Then here in the task panel, here two options are there. One is create form in design view and then use wizard to create form. So select the second option, use wizard. So another pop-up window will appear. Here select the table that has been created from the table or queries. Here our main table name is book underscore table one itself. So tables or queries select our main table. After that here available fields are there. These field are the headings which uh, we have entered in the last class. Book number, book name, author, book price, date of purchase, category, cover image, etc. So here, which all are the fields uh, we are going to add in the form. To enter this field in this form, select the first heading, click on the greater than symbol, the symbol. Click on the symbol. Again select the second heading. Click on the symbol. So which all heading we need to enter in this form. Select that particular heading. And then click on this uh, greater than symbol. Or if you wish to enter every details. All details. All headings in this form. Select. Click on this double greater than symbol. So that you can see every details got appeared in this 
form every heading otherwise if you wish to enter one or a particular heading select that heading in the available field like this if i don't want this book number i only need other things so select book num book name click on this particular sign i don't need author name i only need book price so select that particular heading click on this greater than symbol so that we can choose the headings or if you wish to enter every headings in this form select second symbol double greater than symbol after that click on next button so here second step will get activate here we don't need to make any changes so click on next button here we can select the model of a form if you select this model you can see the corresponding change here so we can select any model any model for this data entry after that click on next button here we don't need to make any changes click on next button here we can select the particular color apply style option you can select any color then click on next button here we are going to give name for this form here you can see book underscore table one which is our previous name of the table i am going to type the name as again double underscore type form form one okay i gave the name like this book underscore table one underscore form one then click on finish button here is our form here we can enter the details which is activity 8.4 in your textbook 8.3 is over 8.3 is creating a form select the heading form then use wizard to create form from the task panel then click on next button and select the style appropriate style and uh, give a name for the form then set data entry we can choose a model for this form this is activity 8.3 activity 8.4 is data entry here we can enter the particular details of each and every book in the library so activity 8.4 is simple activity i am giving book number 1 book name oliver twist book name oliver twist then give the author name author name is charles then book price i am giving 300 date of purchase we can give the date then category category of that book uh, we can give the category then cover image here we can give cover image right click on this cover image part click on insert image then select the particular image of that book click on open so that here in the cover image place you can see the cover image so the first book details has entered how to enter the second details second book detail click on tab key in your keyboard click on tab key in your keyboard we can enter next book details book number 2 book name padeyam author onv book price i am giving 200 date of purchase then category category i am giving poetry then cover image right click on this box cover image box select insert image from here we can enter the image because in our table we have choose that field type as image that's why here we can enter the image image of that book padeyam click on open so second book details also over if you wish to enter the third details what we have to do click on the tab key in your keyboard so that we can enter the third book so after entering the details click on file save option file 
save option again close this here also save file save so in the table option you can see the first table in the form menu here you can see the corresponding form okay so this is fourth activity 8.4 in your textbook see when you double click on that form here we can see every details related to the form in today's session we have discussed about another two activities in this chapter which are activity 8.3 and 8.4 activity 8.3 was data into tables for that open the database file that you have saved in your folder and click on forms in the database panel select use wizard to create form from the task panel and then select the table that has been created from the tables or queries combo box you can see under available fields the fields we have selected use the arrow button which is the greater than symbol arrow button to include the required fields under field in the form in the form that we have created and fill out the available fields and apply styles to the form next activity was data entry for that open the created form from the work area then enter the details in the given fields like book number author name then book price category cover image etc then to enter the second form or to fill the second form press tab key and in order to fill the third form again press the tab key like that we can fill out any number of forms in this database so this is the next activity in your textbook here is the homework for you try to find out the answers and write it in your notebook hope you have understood about today's class activity 8.3 and 8.4 so that's all for today other sections will be continued in the next class thank you and have a nice day